you guys on the five and welcome to Hannity. And this is a Fox News alert. President Trump fires the FBI director, James Comey. We will have a full and complete reaction to tonight's big breaking news. It is what the mainstream media will never tell you tonight. New English, Laura Ingram, Lou Dobbs, Sarah Carter, Jay Sekulow. But first, kicking Comey to the curb. This is the first step in President Trump's draining the deep state swamp. And that is tonight the perhaps my most important opening monologue ever. And welcome back to Hannity. All right, we're going to cut through all of the noise, all of the nonsense on this program tonight, and tell you exactly what the left and destroyed Trump media will not tell you. James Comey, the former now FBI director, is a national embarrassment. It's that plain, it's that simple. And frankly, he's very lucky that President Trump kept him around this long because of his now unhinged and very erratic behavior. Now, firing James Comey was absolutely the single right thing for this president to the do. The best thing to do. For the country, and let me tell you why. Yes, it was. Comey has failed you, the American people, on a spectacular level, and at every single turn, the FBI director disrespected the Constitution. He showed he does not care about the equal application of the rule of law being applied equally to every American, he has now stood by while our Fourth Amendment rights have been trampled upon. And worst of all, he has created in this country now a two-tier justice system. One for Hillary and Bill Clinton, and one for the rest of America. Yep. It's become a travesty. Comey, tonight, should be ashamed of himself. Now, let's start with facts. And Hillary Clinton and the private email server that she used purposely to circumvent what is known as congressional oversight. Here are the facts, plain and simple. Hillary Clinton's server contained top secret special access programs, in other words, the highest level of classified information on her computer. She deleted over 30,000 emails on that computer claiming they were personal. They were about yoga, weddings, grandchildren, and emailing Bill Clinton, who never had an email account. This was a lie from the get-go. And what's so despicable about this is back in July, when Comey made his big announcement on Hillary Clinton and the investigation, he acknowledged all of these facts, which, by the way, is an acknowledgement that crimes were committed. Take a look. Yep. From the group of 30,000 emails returned to the State Department in 2014, 110 emails in 52 email chains have been determined by the owning agency to contain classified information at the time they were sent or received. Eight of those chains contained information that was top secret at the time they were sent. 36 of those chains contained secret information at the time, and eight contained confidential information at the time. Separate from those, about 2,000 additional emails were upclassified to make them confidential. None of these emails should have been on any kind of unclassified system. She should have went to jail. Their presence is especially concerning because all of these emails were housed on unclassified personal servers, not even supported by full-time security staff, like those found at agencies and departments of the United States government. Why did you let her go? Commercial email service like Gmail. What you saw right there was Asshole. James Comey laying out the legal case against Hillary Clinton, and then inexcusably, after 13 minutes of a stinging mm -hmm. indictment, he let her, let her off the hook. And Comey completely ignored all the laws that Hillary Clinton broke, which you can see on the side of your screen. Nobody in the mainstream media, the destroyed Trump media, is telling you this. No. Nope. Now, if you or I, anybody in this audience, did anything close to what Hillary Clinton did, you would be put in jail. You would be perp walked, fingerprinted, you would be mugshotted and put in jail. Even you but Democrats Comey would be. Themselves to be in the end. Nothing more, sadly, than a political hack, and he didn't deliver equal justice under the law. Now, was this because Comey thought Hillary was going to win and become the president? I don't know. I won't speculate. But what I do know is that Comey was only three years into his 10-year term, so tonight we will connect the dots for you. For example, let's talk about the Clinton Foundation and the alleged pay-to-play scheme. Now, the Clintons, they lined their pockets millions and millions of dollars while Hillary was serving as Secretary of State. Now, the evidence of wrongdoing is incontrovertible, overwhelming, yet Comey sat on the sidelines, and Clinton even gave up 
of this nation's uranium to Vladimir Putin in this corrupt Uranium One deal. She personally, as Secretary of State, had to sign off on that 20% going to Putin. The evidence of wrongdoing is overwhelming. And by the way, James Comey, the destroyed Trump media, the radical left, they sat on the sidelines. They ignored the rule of law. And I want to add one thing to this. 20%, meanwhile, the Clinton Foundation lined their pockets with millions. Bill Clinton doubled his speak, uh, speaking fees when he spoke in Moscow. Let me give you another example. More recently, there's the egregious violation of our Fourth Amendment rights with Americans like General Flynn, who were incidentally caught up in foreign surveillance. They were unmasked. That intelligence, a felony, leaked to the press by any measure. The, the one crime that we know was definitely committed in the case of General Flynn didn't bother Comey one bit. Sally Yates even said yesterday she was never asked about this by Comey. Wow. He did nothing to get to the truth, to get answers about who leaked information about General Mike Flynn, a felony under the Espionage Act. And the incompetent Comey... He did nothing to stop this false lie that has been advanced for so many months that Russia was colluding with then candidate Trump and then transition team Trump. He should have, for the sake of this country, put this to rest once mm -hmm. and for all. Hillary now, was. In his letter, firing Comey, the president revealed Comey told him on three separate occasions he's not being investigated. Why didn't the FBI director come forward and tell that to you? the American people, especially, especially since he was so quick to divulge information, exonerating Hillary Clinton, who he laid out the case, violated the law. Even James Clapper yesterday said that the Russia collusion talking point was not based on fact at all. It's all predicated on one big lie, on innuendo, on bizarre conspiracies. So you know what? To James Comey, good riddance. He deserves everything he got tonight. He is yes, he did. Although the media, which loves Hillary, didn't want Trump to win, didn't think Trump would win, they'll never tell you this. Also, speaking of the mainstream media, they're losing their minds tonight over this. They have gone completely insane. They're not giving you the truth nope. or the facts that we just gave you, and they're trying to turn this into a scandal. They're that doing what North Korea is doing. They're trying to sh destroy this president, delegitimize him from day one. Mm -hmm. Here's some evidence. Remember WikiLeaks, what they revealed? The alt-left propaganda destroyed Trump media was proven again and again to have colluded with the Clinton campaign. They were her biggest donor. They were in her corner. They wanted Hillary elected, just like they never vetted. Remember back in the day, we were talking about Reverend Wright, Acorn, Alinsky. Uh, Tough Blair, God, Harvey Acorn. Eagle. They never told you the truth about nope. Obama. They never told you after eight years how he failed spectacularly. They've been gunning for President Trump since day one. Is it any surprise they're trying to destroy this president tonight? And then, of course, there's the Democrats. There's Chucky Schumer, Crocodile Tears himself. Mm -hmm. Foamy at the mouth earlier tonight over this news. Listen to the feigned outrage of Chuck Schumer, the selective moral outrage of Chuck Schumer after Comey was fired tonight. Watch this. They fired Sally Yates. They fired Preet Bharara. And now they fired Director Comey, the very man leading the investigation. This does not seem to be a coincidence. President Trump's training the swamp. Must be run as far away as possible from this White House and as far away as possible from anyone that President Trump has appointed. Given the way the president fired Director Comey, any person who he appoints to lead the Russia investigation oh my God. will be concerned <clears throat> he or she will meet the same fate as Director Comey if they run afoul of the administration. But you guys don't ever talk about Hillary the same hypocrite, the same and the uranium. Chuck Schumer, back in November, right before the election, said this about James Comey after he reopened the investigation in the Hillary Clinton server scandal, quote, I do not have confidence in James Comey any longer to restore my faith. I'm going to have to sit down and talk to him and get an explanation for why he <laughs> did this. And if that's not enough, take a look at all these liberals. You won't see this on any other network tonight, I promise you. Nope. That hated Comey before he got fired. Now tonight they love him. Watch this. 
we're all disturbed, uh, first of all, by the letter, which really... Yeah, the there's the pedophile, John uh, Podesta. The advice of uh, the leaders in the Justice Department. Uh, you know, I'm not challenging uh, Mr. Comey's motivation, but I do think it was uh, unwarranted. It was a mistake. He's got a big burden of proof, so to speak, on him for why he did what seems to be such an appalling act that goes against the tradition of prosecutors at every level of government. It was, when I heard about it, I, I, I found it hard to believe that Comey, who I thought had some degree of integrity, would do this. I think he made a mistake. God, this stupid this. bitch. And he clearly has a double standard. And these jobs, if you're not in it for a while, you can't take the heat. And I think he just couldn't take the heat from the Republicans. Ah, what you're seeing there is a bunch of liberal hypocrites. Losers. Playing nothing but pure politics. Crybabies. This very serious news night. Former Speaker of the House, Fox News contributor.